Hello everyone, welcome again. Now we have now we are here with Chehi. And Chehi he is uh, representing a Swiss company and they are using Mauric for the last four years and he will talk about how to extend the Mauric forms. Let me add Chehi into our stream. Here we go. Okay. Hello. I, I am in Switzerland. That it's a bit late here, later because it's ten o'clock here. I just drink my coffee. <laughs> it's very important at this moment. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I hope that uh, I can uh, teach you or give you some idea to use Motic because I'm very fan of Motic and uh, we use for a lot of customer. Okay. I can try to share my screen. If you just tell me if you you see my screen, it's okay. Yes. Okay. Um, first me, things. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let me. Okay. This is okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. The the first things we have a Swiss company. Uh, uh, four years ago, I have the idea to develop some marketing automation. And uh, Motic was a perfect tool, and we hence Motic uh, to be able to develop very quick some specific solution around Motic with Docker, and we develop our uh, own environment for that. And uh, the goal is to deploy very quick some Motic instance for small and medium business, because for me it's very important that small and medium business have the same tools as big company. I am a specialist of uh, hotel business, and it's clear my competitor is like Booking.com, Expedia, and uh, I want that my small customer can use very, very accurate and uh, special tools to fight against uh, his big company with the same data and the same tools. Uh, and what is very, very important for me, it is also that we integrate with the data. I just give you a sample. If you have reservation for an hotel, I want not that the people must to upload every day some data. I want that my business is complete uh, for the hotel and we don't need to do anything about the data. And it's also very important because here in Switzerland, not a lot of, not a lot of people use marketing automation. They use MailChimp or they use sometimes some tools uh, like HubSpot but with not all the functionality. And for me, it is very, very important that we include the marketing automation as a complete part of a digital marketing. Just see, I make a little <laughs> error here. My problem, it's very easy. Uh, Motic can manage contact and company. Motic can add personal attributes, but I cannot manage my business because one customer buy often more products. How I can manage that? I want not to create so much personal attributes for every buy. A student follow a lot of courses. How to manage some specific question if I cannot access to every line, every occurrence of the courses? Same as a hotel and a sports shop, I have many customers make many services for a bike, but I want to send an email, just a person, uh, have not make a uh, last year uh, services. And this is a lot of question like that. And I think, okay, how we can manage that? And I say, it is one piece of the, what it is one answer we must to get now, which customer have buy a new t-shirt from the last six months? Three days before I has to come in my hotel, I wish to send a welcome email. Send an email to all the students for a follow the last year my ski course level one. Sure, they want to go to the level two. And three months after buying a new bike, send an email for free services. Okay, if we just have one buy or one lesson, it's okay. You can manage that with a personal attribute. But if you have like a normal person, you have many courses for one student. You have many services for one person. You cannot manage that. And my answer is to say, okay, we need to enhance the semotic form. 
For that, we deploy, we deploy, uh, we develop a, a plugin, and we enhance all the capacity of the forms. The first things, we need to fill the forms. At this moment, you can fill the forms with the forms, and uh, you you can just uh, fill the forms when you enter it on a page in your website or you enter that on a, a landing page. I need to have more things. I need to have a relationship with my forms and with my contact. By example, I use that for to send my offer, my tender. And I need to add manually my tender because I have many tender for many for my customer. And I want to manage that in my forms. I want also sometimes to import. Uh, by example, yesterday, I have a customer with some reservation for a specific things. I just need to import all this information in my forms. And at the last, we develop also a special module we call data for you to manipulate the data with the system and with Motic forms. With that, we can fill the forms with data. This is the first things. The second things, after that, we must use this data. And in the campaign, we don't have so much functionality to manipulate uh, the information of forms. Just give you a sample. Now you can have, by example, a forms and you can search for a specific attribute. But if you have, by example, I give you, you have a sample, it is the list of a reservation for an hotel. You have for one customer, you come, by example, the last week, and you have a status for the reservation, it is reservation confirmed, and the date. And it come uh, two weeks ago, or the last next year, or last week, you have more line. And with the actual condition of Motic, you cannot manage that it must to come the last six months and the, the reservation is confirmed. You can just have one condition per forms and you cannot manipulate correctly all the data. It means if I want to ask, to, uh, to have an answer to my question before, I cannot use that. Second things, we need also to manipulate the attribute as we have for the forms for the normal um, contact data, we must, for example, to say to a forms attribute another, attri another value. And we can have also some trigger. By example, if I have the list of all the person buy something, I want just to the people buy for more than 2,000 Swiss francs this year. It means I must to add all the buy for the person because I have many lines. And to know if it is more than 2,000, I can do something. For example, I give a rabbit, or I give a coupon, or I give some specific things. And the next things, we must also to hand the email. Because when I send my email, I must to use forms attributes. And this is something we, we need to have, and it is something we realize with our application. Just perhaps a small uh, things, Serum for you, it is uh, one of the name of the Motic. It is a black, it is a white label for Motic, but we develop with data for you a lot of integration from with RP, with uh, Sabi, it is hotel system, with ticket system, with WooCommerce. And we need for that, okay, uh, you know, we have Zapier, but Zapier doesn't manage uh, forms and we need a specific things more uh, powerful that, um, that Zapier and we develop a specific language to manipulate the data and to automatize all the data coming forms on Emotic. And we call this data, data for you. It is a part of this data to manipulate the field, the information uh, to fill automatically the forms. And with that, we can do everything we want and we make once. And after I can manage for, example, for all my customers of WooCommerce, I just have one configuration and it works for all the WooCommerce. Um, 
I think the best thing now is to make a, a demonstration because I think it is something very, very nice to see and not to speak too much. Uh, have some people question now, or we make we make all the question at the end? Hello, are you listening to me? Hey, Chehi, we we, yeah, are, we are going. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, okay, because we... uh, I'm uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's no problem. Uh, I just ask if some people have some question now, or we make the question at the end. Okay. Okay. I begin with some uh, some things. Okay. Just first things. Uh, we I have an idea during the COVID time to develop an application called Social Pass. And the last month, uh, 750,000 people download the application in Switzerland uh, to make uh, this social presence. This is like a social tracing. And this is not, uh, we don't expect so much people. And my problem, I have so much mail and I cannot manage this mail uh, and I have no time to put a solution like Zendesk. And I say, okay, I want to, eat, to use Motic and I make in four hours a solution to answer to my question. It is uh, something easy. Uh, all the people can come here and make some question. This question, it is very easy. It is a Motic forms and they can just ask here if it is, uh, I use my Android, uh, I use which application, what is my, my uh, question? It is uh, okay, and my question, it is by example, I, uh, um, I can install the application and my name. Okay, this is a very small Motix things. And now what is nice, it is here. Uh, I make in my Motic, I make a forms. My forms, it is very easy. Uh, my forms, it is something here. And you see here, I just have my question. It is quite normal because uh, this is something uh, <laughs> you expect if you uh, feel a full Motic, you expect to uh, to have these things here. But what is very nice, it is what I'm doing behind that. Behind that, I make a campaign. And this is my first campaign. I can show you my campaign here. And what I do in my campaign? My campaign do something, take all my forms, and automatically, if my type is new, it is what we have, is a type. It just, first things, it just change my forms. This is a new function we developed for Motic. I can change the, the data. I can change here the value of my type. And after I send an email. If I'm going to see which email I send here, by example, I just can take this email here and you say, oh, it is new functionality. Send email based on form results. Okay, what do these things? I want to show you after. This is, uh, and I make also some different things to manage my segmentation and manage my stage. If I'm going here, And I show here my email. I take my email I want to send here, level one. Automatically here, if I edit my email, you see my email add here some um, 
uh, some uh, new uh, information come from my database. This is the first name, contact field. But here we add a new information, form field. It means I can use the information uh, store on my forms to send uh, to the customer. And this is uh, something I can do. Oh, I can perhaps show the same mail in English. It is better for you because all my mail is also translated in different language. And you see here, I just take the question of the customer and say, perhaps you find uh, some information in my FAQ. This is just a automatic answer. Next things, I make uh, this automatic things. And the next things in my forms, You see here, I can edit my forms. This is also new. I can edit here my form and I want to make an automatic answer. And my answer, it is, I can just take one answer already down or I can make my answer. And no, you can just uh, check check once okay and i can also add some transfer by example because for some question it is a wish list it is a bug you go to my dba or i want that they just receive a new version android because we have a bug and with that i can make my second steps And automatically now I make here a second campaign. My second campaign, it is my level two here, by example, I take my level two. And you see here, I make automatically my level two with my information. And this is very nice because I can edit all, uh, all my information and send automatically. And I do this system in four hours. And this is for me complete because now I can just you, okay, just use some, something else also. In my plugin, I have here my form tab. And I can also add to my contact some information, just if we have data or also we, if we have no data. Which we have data, it's correct. And if I'm coming now in my contact, I show all my contact, I have answer something here. I take by example me, I see I have two forms here. And I see in my French, I have here some forms and some question. Clear, I could also add here a new question or a new, a new occurrence of my forms from the contact. And with that, I have a full, con a full solution to manage some relationship with one contact and with more information. And uh, I think it's a very, very great thing. And we can enhance Motic with a lot of, lot of possibilities uh, for, for using. Uh, this is my first um, experience. My second experience, it's about a customer have a shop. This is Castella, uh, and we can increase his business for 50% during the COVID uh, mod. For that, we have different things. We integrate also for him uh, some, some plugin here. Okay, we have this plugin from tab. We have also a new plugin to import the data. And we have also a new plugin from Jotform. Perhaps you know Jotform, it is a very famous uh, system to have forms for website. Uh, and it's very, very nice to integrate and to make some specific things. Uh, and this customer prefer to have uh, Jotform as Motic forms. And we make an integration uh, with API. And with this module, 
we can automatically take all the jet form uh, data and you have all the jet form data and we can also automatically from these forms we make automatically uh, a new forms in motic and we make also a synchronization of the data capture on jet form direct on the forms of motic it's just one example and here i want to show you by example how i can manage uh, to import some data and this is very easy here to import data you use the same behavior as you use with the contact you just open the data and here you see we have two new functionality import data or history of the data and if you import the data it is the same as you use for contact it is a quick way to do that and with this solution now we have three ways to capture data. One, it is manually. The second, it is uh, with uh, import. The third, it is with our data for you. And sure, also, uh, it is a normal Motic solution with the forms and uh, with a landing page or integration of your website. Next thing for this customer, we have here, all the data come from uh, a WooCommerce. And you see for the data here, we have a lot of information and we have also, you know, for every customer here, we have also uh, some information about uh, what you buy, which category, and also which information. And it means here, this is very, very easy because I can, my first things I can do here, I can take one customer and for this customer, I want to know, by example, what he has buy the last week or the last day. And I see automatically all this, all my customer have buy for all the period he was my customer. And now I can use this data, but you see, I see he have here a bike, okay. He have also a bike here, a second bike here, and he buy many bike. Well, it's not easy to manage that with Motic, but uh, we find a solution. And I want to show you how I do my campaign. My campaign, it is for that, we deploy new solution. This solution it, we call complex. This is a normal here, a normal, uh, uh forms condition and you can ask this form condition here and i have many forms condition i don't use at this level what i'm using i have a new solution we call complex forms and i can here add different condition and if the line respond to different condition it means i can do something I can also do something. If the people have buy something from the last year, I can also take an attribute here and say, if it is more than 2000 Swiss francs, it's okay, we can do something. And I can do something now, and I can make everything I need to make my new segment. And after that, I can send by example, uh, all the people uh, have not buy something, not buy new ski from two years, because we know every two years you must to change the ski. Or every people have buy a bike, and we know the next three months you have a free services. And this is very complex uh, solution, but it's full marketing automation. And we develop uh, everything like that. Uh, yeah, I want to take one here. And 
Okay, here it is something. Uh, okay, I, I like this. Okay, we we have also some functionality for the forms. This is form that field value. Okay, now we have just with motif contact that field value. I add a new function form that field value, and with that I can know all the people I've buy something the last ninety days, and. With my complex condition, I can add also here, all the people have buy something from the 1st January, buy what an e-bike, but not the last 90 days, because I want not to push my people before, uh, I want after three months, they buy something, I can do something. And I can manage all my question with my, new functionality of uh, Motic. Uh, it is something I like also because I, I tell you I, I work a lot of with hotel company and with my hotel company, uh, I have something I must to do all the time. It is very, very easy functionality uh, because uh, I can just here take a one contact, for example, oops, just to connect again. Okay, it is very simple campaign, but this campaign it is, I want to have all confirmed reservation and five days before they come, this is also my form that field value, I send a quick check-in email. Oops. Okay. Uh, okay, this is, uh, I can show you also this information here. This is uh, the possibility to send, for example, here, uh, after three days, when the, my customer come, I want that my customer come after three days. Okay, I think I have trouble with my connection. Okay, after three days, I want my customer, for example here, this is a very single, two days after the departure, they receive also an email here. And what is nice in this email, they can, <coughs> I can add in this email also, the form field that arrival and the form field departure that. And it is very easy to add that because you can add this information just when you use here the token. And you show the token form field departure that and form field. We add this. And this is the way we can use data come from forms and we make automatically these things, but it's very, very useful for my customer. And by example, we have also the same email here, but it is for the check-in. And you can see, see here, we send automatically here, the, the automatic, the code, we manage the code of the key because they are not all the time here. And we send just before they come some mail and also some SMS with all this data. Okay, uh, I think uh, you understand what we are doing and I'm able now to answer some question or to, to give you some information. Just to go back.
Yes. It's okay? Yeah, it's perfect. Um, okay. It was a, a great presentation. Congratulations, Thierry. Okay. We are the boss or is something else? I've never seen such improvement on Mauric form. It's incredible. I, I think so. And you know, I, I, I work sometimes with AppSpot, but I cannot do that with AppSpot. Yeah. And with that, uh, I use so much capabilities, you know? I, 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 you see what I'm doing with my FAQ. In yeah. four hours, I do a full FAQ system and manage all the things to send email to my DBA to make two wishes. And I make a full segmentation. And this is, I, I like to use Motic like that because I can just explain my, explain, explain my ID to do something. Yeah, it's great. It's great. And we have two questions here. And yeah. we have one, one, one question from David. And he asked, Chihi, Chihi uh, uh, did you develop from scratch or, or did you use some plugin to extend the forms? No, we developed was from scratch. Okay. Awesome. And we have a second question, Carlos. One, one of the reasons to extend form is to use more fields, right? More fields? What is fields? More, more, more custom fields, like uh, more. Ah, uh, and, yeah, and custom it, fields. Uh, yes, yeah. because custom with custom fields, you cannot manage anything. You can just manage one line. And all the problem we have is to manage many lines and to also export. Because if you want to know with the actual Motic forms, you cannot do too much. You cannot import data and okay, it is it is not useful for me. And with that, I, I know I have so much motic with that. And uh, this is marketing automation. And just one single thing, the WooCommerce plugin we do, you understand that you can do everything. You make, for example, if you don't buy something the last three months, or you don't buy for 1,000 the last three months, we just send an email. And clear, we use, we use also, by example, you use, you saw also, we can make a segmentation. All the people buy, buy something uh, like um, a t-shirt or like, uh, you know, um, uh, a short or shoes or specific things for hotel because we, and we can also merge that with a normal tracking system from internet. And right. you can, you have no limits. You have yeah. no limits. Yeah, it's incredible. I saw how powerful it is. It's, it's, it's fantastic. It's how you can increment because definitely, definitely that it's a big issue uh, when we talk about the mark because the custom fields, like you said, is just one line, you know, it just, one line, you can have like a, a, a pile, a, a stack of information, and you you found a good alternative to create that using forms. Okay, it is a, a question. No, uh, oh, we have one, Leo. Chehi, when you change the data on the form results, this will modify the campaign decision results? Mm, can I have more uh, details about repeat. this question? I, I, I will repeat. Uh, Chehi, when you change the data on the form results, this will modify the campaign decision results because... Yes, sure, because, you know, okay, what we are doing now, um, normally, the normal behavior for campaign in Motix, uh, I just take one, uh, okay, doesn't matter. I take one here. I don't know if it's a good campaign or not. But yeah, uh, not, it's not a good campaign. Uh, yes, I take this one. Okay, in Motix, you have the possibility to relaunch a campaign. 
This is a functionality that we have in Motic. And for this campaign, I relaunch the campaign. And also, you can say here, you allow the contact to restart the campaign. And it means every time, okay, if you have a campaign based on a forms, automatically, if you change the forms information, you relaunch the campaign. But if your campaign is about a segmentation, you need to, to authorize, to allow the contact to restart the campaign. And if you see here, you see clearly here, that my campaign launch every day. Okay, same as here, uh, this is my campaign, my campaign for my level one here, launch every day. And this is normal because we, we just use this functionality to automatically, and here it is once, but you see clearly here, my campaign, it is where my campaign, Yes, you see my campaign, but I don't send an email every day because to send an email or to do something, you must to uh, be uh, to answer to all the criteria. I don't know if I answer to the question. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because because that it's a it's a good question. Once you once you you change the form data on the campaign, how how the decision will work after that, you know? Then you said you restart the campaign, right? Yeah. Okay, great. And okay, and you remember also, I can change in my campaign the value of an attribute of forms. Right. It means but I use that, by example, when I send an offer to my customer. I have a forms line with the date of my to send, if the people have read or not, and what is the state of my um, tender. And if I modify my tender, and by example, I have a solution, if they don't read two times my email, I send an SMS. But the, if they don't read my SMS, don't do anything, I must do call and I make a manually things. And I can manage all the states and all the action with my attribute and my value of my forms. Great. We have one more question from Giovanni. Uh, and, and, and Giovanni said, hi, I was wondering how much does the plugin cost? And, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. You, uh, you no, know, it's, it's not the cost. We okay. I, I want to tell you. Uh, I, I develop. We have three hundred customer, and I develop that for my customer. But I can. I have also a full management here to make new. Uh, this is something we use by us. Okay, I can just use do something else because we have little time. One thing I hand for my customer is the possibility here to uh, deploy some team parameter because I want to go very quick here to deploy some new parameter because we have some new functionality and we can here manipulate all, uh, it is like template for customer. And we have also here like uh, company information and we use on all the mail we don't need to do every time. And we hands a lot of things on Motic, also with some payment things and different things. And this is a full solution based on Motic, but we can deploy it. And for that, we can I can add for you a new instance, and automatically I make a new instance for you, like here. And I I normally now we don't sell Motic. We we rent, we make, um, we make um, like a rent of Motic. And this is our model, but if you want to play the plugin, we can uh, we can speak together. Just uh, make an email and we try to find a solution. Perfect, yeah, because because Giovanni, he, he asked because 
he said, we have this need, car, car dealer, and each form filled in means an interest in, in a car. Could this be a use case for your plugin, like yeah. for car dealer? Yes, yes, sir. it is very nice uh, possibility, but my proposition, it is okay, we can make an instance for Motic for him, and he have all the possibility. And we manage also after that, you know, uh, the evolution of the plugin. Great, great. So, Giovanni, you have to take a note, take Chehi contact, and and talk to him in person to to check how charge he will create this offer. So, well, let's see if we have. Well, we don't have any other question, and I think it's it's that. Thank you. Thank you, Chehi. It was a great presentation. I think for me, at least, opening a, a lot of new possibilities. So, merci beaucoup. De rien. <laughs> and, and, and thank you. And we we will continue our Marcon. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And keep watching our next sessions. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.